Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. So today I wanted to talk about the planner storage that I use to store uh, most of my planner items. So I have a lot of new storage options that I've been using for sticker books and pens and markers and scrapbook paper, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go over what I use. Um, what I been kind of gravitating toward it has been more of like like the clear storage or like white storage because it kind of blends in as I kind of have to fit everything in my living area because I don't want any of my planner stuff in my room so I have to try to make it look like very cohesive and not like randomly unorganized looking storage items or like mismatchy storage items. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go over in this video, just showing what I'm currently using because I did find an option for some large sticker, the large sticker books that I wanna go over as well. And I'll let you know where I got everything too. So I hope you all enjoy. So my favorite item to store the regular sticker books from the Happy Planner. And I think some of the wrong, wrong sticker books I think fit in here too. Um, and then also have like a Park Lane sticker book that fits in here. So this is, let me take this off because it doesn't come with this actually. Um, this is a storage option from Target. It is Bright Room. You can find this in the bathroom section with like, there's a bunch of organization type stuff. They have a lot of good items. This was only $8. So I feel like that's a really good price point for this type of a storage. It's very sturdy. And I like it and I like it just clear so I've started changing up all of my planner storage when it comes to sticker books to this option right here um, because I had a bunch of random happy planner boxes which is cool but it started looking a little bit too un I don't know I just didn't like the way it was looking having got all the different patterns even though I was trying to keep it like blacks and grays um, I wanted to be more cohesive when it came to the planner storage. So I'm switching them out all to this one. I'm still keeping that planner storage because I'm going to use that like in a cabinet where I won't see it, but it's still really useful storage. Um, the one thing I like the one con on this is it doesn't have those like dividers in here. It's just all open. So they do kind of like, you know, they're not like as sturdy um, when you put them in compared to the happy planner ones. But I don't know, I just like the look of this. And actually I'm gonna see how many books I can fit in here because right now I don't I don't have this one filled up all the way. So let me count how many regular Happy Planner sticker books fit in here so that way you can know. I was able to fit 25 sticker books in here. Um, for me, that's probably the max that I would go because it's, it's a little tight. I feel like you probably could get one more in, but I like having room to be able to flip through them a little bit and grab them. So, um, I would fit 25 in here. Now the Happy Planner ones, you could fit 27 in there. So you are losing like two sticker books in storage when it comes to this clear one from Target. But honestly, I just prefer the way that this looks better. Um, and also I got these little tags right here because I'm labeling them. Um, this one is going to be all florals. Uh, so I still need to organize this because obviously that's on a floral sticker book. Uh, but yeah, these I got from the container store, which honestly, I think you could find them cheaper at on Amazon. Uh, so I'll try to find one that's similar to this one. I just wanted to test it out and I was there and I grabbed them really quick just to test them out, see if they worked. Uh, but this is how I like storing them now. I just think this looks a lot nicer. They're like all exactly the same. I don't have like random patterns and colors of sticker book storage anymore, which I really like. As you can see right here, I have all of them lined up right here and then I have them labeled. I try to categorize my sticker books into the categories that work best for me. So I have like a Disney section, I have a planner girl section, like a squad girl section, um, and some seasonal ones. So that's how I like to organize my sticker books. This has been really, really good for me to convert to this system, so I'm really liking it. Um, so this is my storage for regular Happy Planner sticker books. I'm gonna go over next what I'm using to store those really large sticker books from like Live Love Posh, Amber Plans Are Day, JoJo. I'm gonna do, I, I found one at the container store that I like. So I'm gonna go over that next. This is the next storage item that I found at the container store. It is a 
extra large deep cabinet drawer organizer. And I figured, I actually had to take my tape measure around. Actually, I don't know, I, I think I brought one of these books. That's helpful too if you're looking for storage like out and about at the stores. Definitely take a book with you so you can measure it out. Uh, but I did notice that these fit this way, laying down, which I actually like because I wanted to, I, I didn't want to take up like vertical space with these because these are kind of tall. Um, so I didn't mind laying them down. And you can kind of see the labels um, because it has this cutout right here. So I picked up a couple of these. Again, these are from the container store. I feel like they are like only from the container store though. Well, the company, I think the Like It is the company. I'll have to look it up and see if Like It. Oh yeah, they do, they have a website. So it's www.likeitjp. I'll link it down in the description. Also the one from the container store, cause I'm not sure. I forgot how much this one was. I think it was around 16, $17 for this one. I liked it cause it's white. Um, it has this little thing here. I, I think you can write something on there. I'm just gonna use the, the, the little labels the, that I have on the clear one. I'm gonna use that on here. But I just wanted to show like these do fit here and then I'm gonna see how many I can fit in here of all these large stickers. This one is loaded with 27 sticker books that fit in here. Again, you can see the names um, on this part since it is cut out, which is nice. I am going to, I actually bought two of these, so I plan on organizing them based off of type of sticker book. So I'm gonna have like all the colorful boxes sticker books in here. And then I have another one that I plan on rotating out my stickers. Cause I have a lot of seasonal type sticker books from like a lot of these shops that sell this size book. So I'm just going to rotate them out depending on the season. Um, so that way they'll all fit in this container. So this right now is how I'm currently storing all of these types of stickers. And I really, really like this. Um, I will show a picture of or a little video of how it looks actually on the shelves. And again, I'll make sure to link this down in the description too, because I feel like this was a good find. All right, so next I have this other type of storage, which is from Target. And this was more in the storage organization, like where they have the totes and baskets and things like that. So they have these, they are from the same company, Bright Room, and they're just like smaller, flatter type of storage. But I like using these to store like papers and different things that I, I don't know yet where they're going to go, but I just want to get them like in a spot so they don't get all crushed and wrinkled and all that. Uh, another great way to use these is to like plan out your, your spreads. You can stick your, your, your planner in here. You can stick your uh, sticker books that you plan on using, the washi, kind of like collecting the items that you need for a spread so that way they're all like ready to go. And then also putting them back in here so that way you can put them away. So <laughs> that's another way that I've been using these too. And I like that they stack like this. And then I can see inside like what is, you know, on each little organizer. Again, they, they do stack. I have a few of these and I really, really enjoy using these. So that is another one. It'll, I'll have it linked down in the description too, because this one is from Target. I can't remember the price point, but I don't think it was more than 10 bucks for these. So yeah, another good item. I also use these in my closet too, to organize some of my items in there. They're just really, really handy. I really like them. Last few storage pieces are from Ikea. I love Ikea. They have great items over there, especially in their storage area. I always, whenever I go there, I always check out like new storage options because sometimes they have like different sizes or different colors. So um, these, I feel like they always have these items there. So they are just like these bins. I like these two sizes the most. So I'm gonna show you what I store in these. These little ones are so, so cute. Uh, so they do stack as you can see, like I, I showed earlier. And then they do have the lid. Uh, right now I'm storing like, I have a ton of mild liners that I have duplicates of, so I'm just storing them in here. You can even put like pens in here. Uh, that way they are, you know, nicely stored. You can label them here, which I think is something I might do. And then I plan on putting this in like my little cabinet area over there. So that way I can, you know, have everything organized and stacked nicely in there. So I have a couple of these to store the pens, um, since I, this was like a perfect size to store like the mild liners. These are the, the brush ones, the brush ones. Um, so I feel like they're a little bit longer, but I also have the regular mild liners in here as well. 
so those are the little ones they're so cute i feel like these were maybe like five dollars for this um with the lid so i feel like that's a good price for this type of storage this is from the same like planner or the organization system that they have there in ikea again with a lid uh but i'm storing like some of my tools in here so i have like the punch some punches i'm gonna put a couple more punches in there too um but i'm just gonna store tools so then i can label this with like paper tools or something like that on the outside and i have a few of these again they stack very nicely on top of each other and they just look like nice and clean and organized so love these little boxes um they also have some bigger ones too which i've purchased those as well and use them in my closet so yeah i love love ikea organization they have the best stuff and i got these little organization boxes again from ikea they're in a three pack they're clear i think they had a different style of these maybe like a colorful one um i found these in the kids section yeah the kids area uh they had these over there it took me a while to find them so i just wanted to make sure so i was looking in the regular like organization type area and then I had to go back upstairs to the kids section and that's where they were uh, but they come in a three pack they are stackable which is nice so right now i'm just i have some like just random stuff that I can store in here. I like that they're frosted, so you can kind of see in, but it's not like super, super clear, um, which I, I really, really like. But I have some planner discs in here, and then just some random post-its in there that I'm storing. Again, they stack nicely, and yeah, they're really, really good. So I got these, I wanna say they were around like $10 for the three pack, which I think is really, really good price, um, but those are from Ikea as well. All right, so those were all of the planner options or planner storage options that I'm currently using right now. I really like the way that everything looks. The prices aren't too expensive, which I really, really like, and they have definitely been serving their purpose of keeping me organized with those, with all of these items and also making them look like nice in this area. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.